Hi, this is Chris with American Hako. Today I'm going to show you how to turn on and use the password lockout feature of the Hako FX888D. In order to use the password lockout feature, we're going to need to go into the parameters and turn on the password and set the password uh, for the Hako FX888D station. So to get into the parameter mode, we're going to hold down the up button while we turn the station on. And you'll see that we're in parameter number one. I'm going to press the up button to choose parameter number 14, which is our lockout parameter. Pressing enter, we'll see that it's off, which is the factory default. Now from here I have two choices. I have one which is a partial lock, which I'll explain later, and two which is a complete lock. So we'll choose two for a complete lock. And at this point you'll see the three dashes. The three dashes are for you to choose a three letter password. You can choose any letter from A to F. So in this case, I will choose letter A for the first digit. Next one will be the letter B. And then I'll choose the letter C. Now at this point, after pressing enter, I'm back to the parameter mode, but I'm going to have to store this inside the station. So in order to store this, I'm actually going to need to go in and hold down the enter button and wait until I see a Y. That Y is asking me, yes, do you want to confirm and store these settings? Well, yes, I do. So I'm going to press enter. And now the password has been set and the lockout is a complete lock. So what does a complete lock mean? It means all the features in the station, including the parameters features, they're all locked out. I can't do any of them without the password. So for example, if I wanted to change the temperature, I'd hold down the enter button. But you see I've got three dashes. That's because it's asking me for the password. And if I were to put in the wrong password, in this case I'll just do three A's. A for the first. Oops. We'll go around and do A for the second. And we'll do A for the third. When I do that, you'll see that nothing happens. It just goes back, goes back and starts over again. Well, that's because I got the wrong password. So if I put the right password in this time, Remember, we had ABC, so A for the first, B for the second, and C for the last. After pressing enter, now I have that feature available to me to be able to change the temperature. I'll leave that at 750 for now. Now, if I wanted to change parameters, even that part is locked out. So, holding down up and turning it on, you can see again, I'm being asked for a password. That's the point of a complete lock. Everything is locked out. Now in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that password in. Remember we had A, B, and C. There's our B. Last one is C. Once we do this, we're in parameter mode. I'll we'll use the up button to go back to our lockout parameter number 14. Now at this point, if I wanted to change this to zero and turn this off, and if I stored these settings, it would erase the password that's there. The station does not store passwords from the past. So every time you go into this parameter and you save it, it's always going to ask you for the password and it'll overwrite what was in the station previously. So in this case here, I'm now going to choose a partial lock. Now partial lock lets me choose which features in the station I want to have access to and which ones I want to lock out and require a password for. So in this case, after pressing enter, I now see one with a flashing one. Well, this is the first feature, which is actually the temperature adjustment in order to change temperatures. Do I want to lock that out with a password? One meaning yes, zero meaning no. In this case, I'll leave it as one. Yes, I want to lock it with a password. I'm going to press enter and I go to number two. Number two is, do you want to require a password in order to change presets? In this case, zero means off. It's unlocked. I can change presets, but I won't be allowed to adjust the temperatures. And again, if I were to go in and change this to one, I would lock it. Leaving it at a zero, it's unlocked. Number three is for the digital calibration feature. If I want to be able to do the calibration on the station, right now it's telling me I need a password. If I were to change that to zero, I'd be able to do the calibration without the password. So in this case, I'll leave this the way it is. And here's the point where we set the password. And again, we'll do the, what we did before. We'll do A, 
B and C. And remember, when you go back to parameter mode, you've got to hold on the Enter key to see the Y asking for confirmation. Press it one more time to store it. So now it's been partially locked. If you remember, we could not change temperature without a password. I'll try. And you can see it's asking me for that password. So we'll put that in. A, B, and then C. Here's where we can change password, or sorry, change the temperature. But you remember I had presets that I could change. If preset mode was enabled, I could press the up button to be able to activate the presets and choose them. The last one would be the digital calibration. Is that locked? Digital calibration is uh, something you do by holding down the up button. You can see if I hold the up button down, I can't get into the calibration without having to enter the password. If you don't know the password, the only way to get out of this screen is actually having to turn the station off and back on again. And that's a demonstration of the features for the lockout password that's available on the Hako FX888D. Mm -hmm.